Welcome to the Explore Composites Materials Library. This is laminate sample number eight. It's an open molded fiberglass panel with gel coat and finishing resin. It's pretty basic. A couple of plies, 1708 biaxial, and some one ounce chop strand mat. Here I am waxing the panel. I gave it three coats, and I'm ready to apply the gel coat once the wax has had time to dry. This is just a standard white gel coat with no wax in it, I'm catalyzing it with clear catalyst. If you use the red catalyst, it turns pink. I'm going to mix it pretty well. I've got about six ounces mixed up here, and I'm going to apply it by brush. Now, ideally, you can see me pulling the bristles out and putting them on the side. Ideally, you would spray gel coat. And if this were a larger panel, I would. You can apply it by brush with decent results as long as you're going to do some finishing. I only put one coat on here and I just tipped it out. I think a foam brush would have been a better choice for the tipping. And if I wanted a really nice surface finish, I should have come back and given it a second coat. But I was in kind of a hurry. So I tipped it out, got it as nice and flat as I could, and gave it some time to cure. The resin I'm using here is a combination of some laminating resin and also a layer of finishing resin with the last ply of matte. The finishing resin has wax in it and will allow the surface to cure without remaining tacky. So this is the main bulk of the laminating resin I'm going to use for the surface plies and the two layers of 1708. I'm testing it with a gloved finger. You want to wait until the gel coat just doesn't come off on the glove. And then it's about right to lay up on. If you wait too long, it'll cure too much. And if you go too soon, you'll end up brushing the gel coat around and you'll see fibers through it. So I'm going to drop this first ply of one ounce mat on there. Looks like I didn't cut it big enough to uh, cover the whole area I gel coated. But that's all right. This is just a test panel. So I'll pour it on. And again, I'm using the wet out roller like I've done in some of the other small panels. If this were a bigger thing, it would be much easier to use a fairly heavy nap paint roller to apply the resin. It would be much quicker. Here a brush and a wet out roller bubble popper works all right. The key really is to roll it nicely and for wetting out this material which has a binder in it that dissolves in the resin you really just have to take the time to let the resin break down the binder and wet everything out and then come back and pop all the bubbles. Here I put the 1708s with their matte layers facing each other in the middle and the stitched biaxial facing out against the surface plies and I'm just going to finish with this 1708 layer and let it gel because this is laminating resin it will remain open to secondary bonding and I'll come back in about an hour or two when it's gelled so you can see the surface um, when I can touch that with a glove and not have it be too sticky I will come back and mix up this second smaller batch of resin which is a waxed finishing resin it's the same stuff it just has some wax added that will come to the surface as it cures and block the air out allowing the resin to fully cure to a hard finish. And so I'm just going to wet this out and roll it. And because this is finishing resin, I'm not going to need peel ply. I'm just going to roll it out really nicely. If you can see bubbles, you have bubbles. But if you can't see bubbles, generally you're okay. And that's what the surface looks like. So there it is cured. You can see the color change. It's a bit more opaque. It looks pretty nice and it's not sticky to the touch. You can, when I demolded it, see some streaks from the brushing and that would be solved by having more coats of gel coat. It came out pretty heavy. It was one pound, two and three eighths ounces, 521 grams. But it's a nice example of a basic open molded panel without any core. Thanks for checking out the Explore Composites Materials Library. See you next time.